The process of rebuilding Lagos has started with Governor Babajide Sawalu and the Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo kicking off the process of rebuilding the lost assets of the state. An eight-man team constituted recently by the Governor to coordinate the rebuilding and recovery effort was formally inaugurated in Lagos at an event tagged Consultative Forum on Rebuilding Lagos. TV360's Abisola Adibayo now reports. It is almost a month now that the massive looting and destruction by hoodlums who hijacked the hashtag NSAS protest rocked many states in Nigeria. For Lagos, the devastation and loss was massive that the state practically needs rebuilding. For this reason, the state government has inaugurated a consultative forum on rebuilding of Lagos. At the inauguration ceremony, Vice President Yemi Oshibajo noted that the country is in dire need of healing. This, he says, is the reason the judicial panel of inquiries were set up across the states to calm the tension and make compensations to victims of abuse where necessary. Never in the history of our nation has this former capital city and our nation's commercial nerve center experienced such mindless acts of violence and the enormity of destruction that occurred. Perhaps it may be worth noting that the destruction and disruption of life and work in Lagos is a national tragedy and a major economic setback for the nation, even as we face the most difficult challenges, perhaps in a generation, caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. Governor Babajide Sonwolu, however, says the state has put the terrible incident behind it and is ready to rebuild every asset destroyed by the hoodlums. We seek to restore the infrastructure that were destroyed, to revive the energy and the confidence of everyone who has been affected by this great loss, to help restore the confidence of the people of Lagos in the infinity potential that Lagos portends. If and when the state government, and we believe we cannot do it by ourselves, we cannot do it alone. We need all the help that we can get. When I think of what I saw when I went to my constituency, nothing short of sorrow, tears, and blood, it is incumbent upon us, for those of us who have the capacity and the ability in terms of uh, at our disposal, in terms of government, to do all we need to do. And in that vein, the National Assembly will do everything it can. Condemning the wanton damages, guests at the event promised to support the initiative to restore the affected assets across the state. Greater economic growth will be difficult to attain in an environment with poor security. The damage done to police stations in different parts of the country can undermine the provision of adequate security, which is vital to households and to businesses. The Lagos state governor said a bill will be sent to the state house of assembly to enshrine the fund in the laws of the land and give it the necessary legal backing to accomplish its mandate. Abisola Adibayo TV 360, Lagos.